I'm going to stay with Miss Alice. What? Did you forget? Orson Wilde, you know, the star of American theatre. And he's visiting and staying with us. You did forget? No, no, not, not that. I, I meant you wanting to stay with Miss Alice. Yes, that's right. Miss Alice suggested it. She told me you couldn't possibly refuse. <coughs> I don't want to refuse. I'm going to accept that. If it's really what you want. It's the perfect solution, Mr. Holmes. Don't you agree? Guess what, Mrs. Hudson? Mr. Wilde is here to study my father's character for his next play. And he won't be disappointed, will he? Father is so pig-headed. I oh, can't believe it. The great Sherlock Holmes standing in front of me. I'm sure that our two brains will. Brains. You don't have a brain. That's what she means. Okay, what do we have here? A lot of makeup. It seems. Oh! Scarf. American flag. Meh. I think it's that. Uh, okay. Okay. Hello, like those pants. I think it's that. I don't know right now. Okay. Not yet. So, rage is American. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, yeah. Mr. Uh, Wild, your room. Charming. <laughs> this is such a fascinating city. We need to talk. I'd rather not. You're going to be angry again. Goodbye, Mr. Wild. <laughs> is it five o'clock already? I think I might go and ask Mrs. Hudson for some tea. <laughs> okay, so. Hello and welcome back for more Sherlock Holmes and find out more. Okay, so what is this letter here? Hey, my name is I'm Ask me to Oh Okay. Okay. Let me see. What do we have here? While truly has a perfect disguise kit, do actors really need all this? Too much makeover. Whoa. Oh. I use the same brushes for makeup. Oof, too much powder. Uh, face powder of an excellent quality. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I see that. This must be grease paint. I forgot my hat. Father? I'm just checking, um... You've got something on your face. Is it makeup? Uh, it uh, might be. i uh, practicing my disguises. You know me. <sighs> <laughs> Ah, you busted, man! God damn it! No, don't, don't touch that! No, no. Uh, my lab is broken now. 
Good job, man. Good ah. job. Mrs. Thank Hudson, you for coming. With our tea. Not quite. We have a visitor. However, the lady is not so much angry as perplexed. Mm -hmm. Good day to you, gentlemen. My name is Mary Sutherland. I have come to you, Mr. Holmes, because I would give everything I have to know what has become of Mr. Hosmer Angel. Why the haste, Miss Sutherland? Mr. Hosmer Angel has disappeared, and my father, Mr. Winterbank, will do nothing. It makes me so angry. Uh huh. What is your in your? What is this? Your nose was broken or something? Okay. Oh. Uh, she's. She's rich. Flash. She's I don't know about that. Maybe she's rich. I'm gonna go about that. Uh, engagement ring because he say something about his boyfriend or something. So I'm gonna go about that and boots. <coughs> okay. Mary, Mary, is a good Okay. Mr. Windybank is your stepfather, surely, since the name is different? Well, indeed, I call him father, although he is barely older than myself. And your mother is alive? Oh, yes. Although I wasn't best pleased when she married again, and so soon after father's death, and to a man so much younger than herself. Mm hmm. What is your connection with Mr. Hosmer Angel? I met him at the Gasfitters Ball. Mr. Winderbank did not wish for me a mother to attend. He never did wish us to go anywhere, but this time I was quite set on it. Fortunately, he left for France upon some business, and so didn't have any say in it. And I met Mr. Angel that night. We met again after that and would take walks together. But then father returned, and we could no longer meet. Hmm. There is something fishy about that. Why was your stepfather against your going anywhere? Well, he didn't like anything of that sort. He used to say that a woman should be happy in her own family circle. That's... weird. Did Mr. Hosmer Angel make no attempt to see you? Well, father was going off again in a week. And Hosmer wrote and said that it would be better for us not to see each other until father had gone. After that, he stopped writing. Where does Mr. Angel live? I don't know exactly. I address all of his letters to the Leadenhall Street Post Office for collection. Okay. Were you engaged? Oh yes, Mr. Holmes. Right after the first walk that we took. Hmm. So I was right about that. Do you have your own income? I do, from an inheritance. It was left to me by my Uncle Ned in Auckland. Then you have all that you could wish for, naturally. Well, I live at home and don't wish to be a burden to my family, so they so, have the use of the money. He's rich and That's why this dude don't want him to go because they have the money right now. Is there anything else okay. that you can tell me about Mr. Angel? He's a very shy man. <laughs> he would rather walk with me in the evening so as to be discreet. I put a missing persons notice in last Saturday's Chronicle. Here's a copy, and a letter from him. Ha <laughs> ha, a love letter. Hmm, yes, I see. As I anticipated, this validates my deductions perfectly. What deductions, Mr... Mr. Wilde. Holmes, tell her. 
What do I have to do here? Mr. Holmes, what do you think about the letter on the table? A love letter? Aren't you dying to read it, Holmes? No. I like my beard, though. Something wrong with him. Eh. Hey, uh, Okay. Okay. Wait. Okay. Okay, love letter. Okay, let's see about that. Okay. My dear love, please don't worry. Uh, we okay. I want okay. So it's no, it's typical love. Typewritten. Good do quality paper, here? quite smooth. Mm hmm. Fairly common ink, nothing special. I'm waiting for the moment when your stepfather leaves once more. Yeah. We had a wonderful time together, didn't we, while your father was in France? Miss Sutherland only met with Hosmer Angel while the stepfather was absent. Nice name, though. Yeah, that's, that's the reason I'm skeptical about this dude. And I'm sure that those... Those two are the same people. Hosmer Angel decided I think. not to leave his signature. Let's study this letter more closely. There are some letters with typographical defects. Miss Sutherland, do you have any other letters from Mr. Angel? Unfortunately not. But I've brought my father's letter from Paris. Here it is. Mm. Okay. There is an autogram here. The stepfather's letter is also typewritten. Mm -hmm. Quite common paper with a light yellow tint. Fairly common ink, nothing special. Mm, I hope that you'll be an obedient girl. Mm -hmm. Take my advice, stay at home. That's rude. Miss Sutherland's stepfather's signature. The stepfather is trying to keep the daughter at home. Let's mm. study this letter more closely. There are some letters with typographical defects. Both letters have typographical defects. They merit further attention. Mm -hmm. So we have... Cave. This letter has a defect. And... One more letter. Ah, and it's the same letter with the same defect in both instances. Yeah, okay. Another letter match with the same defects. One more letter with a defect. Where do we have M? Right here. Uh. Oh, another letter yeah. match with the same defects. So, based on the specific defects, we could say that these letters were composed on the same typewriter. What is going on here? What what do we have here? I want the letter have the same thing. Yeah, that's true. Okay, so we, they have the same. No, no, wrong button, wrong button. They have the same. Uh, Mary had the only. 
Yeah. Then it's this one. Yeah, it's this one. Uh, sometimes I just hate PlayStation and the recording stuff. I didn't read that. Uh, Mary has four. Okay, yeah. Keep home. No. Work. No. Yeah, that's right. Okay. Profit. Con nee. Family have uh, interest in marriage. I think this is this. To, to just take his money. The family has interest. Yeah, I think this is this. They just want his money. And if the other dude just take him, then they don't have this money anymore. But if the dad is this other dude, then. Does that get rich anyways? Uh, I don't know. So this, those both are right decisions, but right now I think it's this. And the last one is uh, from same. Homes. Me. Uh, those both things are right. Uh, I don't know. Uh, maybe lies don't take take me with the pills from out there. Just for him, okay. Maybe it's the photo to put his bed and drips with the giveaway to home. I don't know. I think it's lies, but okay. So okay, but if I take this one, then uh, the two. I I don't know about that right now. I think this is this. It's the same. The facial don't go together pretty well, but I don't wanna fuck up this right now. What else can I tell you? So I have to do that. So I have to. I think this is the right thing. Yes. So you tell should him try about to let that. Mr. Hosma Angel vanish from your memory, as he has done from your life. Then you don't think I'll see him again? I fear not. Then what has happened to him? It doesn't matter. He has left, and he will never come back. There is nothing you can do. Oh, oh Mr. Holmes. No, I, I, I cannot forget him. I shall That's be true to him. Oh, I shit. shall wait for him. Goodbye, Mr. Holmes. Holmes, could have been more diplomatic. My bad. Yeah, I take this shit on me. Yeah, that's bad. Yeah, okay, I understand. Fuck that. 
I'm sorry, okay? I did my best. And the loading screen are the best things in the universe. Oh, what was that? Somebody breaking to my house or something? Dougie, get him! Oh, oh! Mr. Holmes, is everything all right? Shut up! Go back to your flat and stay there with. Shut up! Shut up! Oh, it's ticking. Yep, it's a boom boom. It's ticking. We have a boom boom. No. Oh shit! Oh, I didn't. Oh, and we end this. And we end this video with the boom. So thank you everybody for watching, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.